Well, I, right now I'm painting the white lines on the lawn so that people know where to walk and where not to walk. And uh, I've already taken care of watering all the flowers and making sure the grounds look nice and clean. I set up everything. I put the trash cans around, the recycling cans around, the signs. I clean the whole site so it's all ready to go. And I set up the stage. And uh, door tonight we have trash. We take the trash, you know, put that away. And uh, after the concert ends, is we uh, put everything back away. I start at 8 a.m. and I'm here till 11 or 12 o'clock at night. Before the concert starts, it's basically the logistics, opening up the gates, moving stuff around, and getting people's needs that have to do all of the work here, where I don't do the work, but I have to still run around and open the gates up. And Once the concert starts, it's basically the safety of the public, trying to keep people from the kids kicking the ball, riding the bikes, uh, keeping the animals out that are not working the animals, and basically just paying attention so nobody gets hurt. We actually start thinking about this about a month in advance as far as getting the menu together. And then a week ahead of time, I have to make sure that we have enough staff, energy of all of us working together. We're able to successfully feed several hundred people. Uh, and the, the way it's done is people will line up and pick up a basket and we have two buffet lines here of our gourmet box lunches. Same items on both sides. And we have about 120 items on each uh, menu item prepared. We have a nice drink station set up in the middle as well, again, to service several hundred people. So uh, it's, it's, at this point, we've been doing this for several, several years. We have it down, and it's, uh, it runs very smoothly and efficiently. Ever efficient sound crew from CZ Sound. It's about three hours before the start of the concert, and folks are already ready to go. Musicians have arrived. There's Dane Van Adder. Some last minute business back home. The sound check will begin shortly. There's our crew ready to go. <laughs> sure, the first Friday customers are some of our most intimate customers because they typically come back month after month, June through September, which is very unusual for the museum shop. Usually we get one-time customers only. So you get to know them, you get to see their families, you get to watch their kids grow, and then they leave in September, come back in June, they've grown, it's like a family reunion, everyone's happy to see each other. We have a membership table because we want people to know who and what we are here at the Frick, that we are more than just the music that is here this evening. We are um, about art and history, have a fine and decorative art collection, there's so much going on here at all times of the year. We want people to come back again and again and enjoy all that we have to offer. So we tell them about it, we offer membership as a way to support everything that they do here and see here and uh, continue you to come back again and again. Thank you for your generous donation. All right, here we go. Heading on up. It's concert time. No, 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 no I didn't know. I know. No, it's all right. We, we were doing that back then. Let's that to the shooting. Welcome to the Frick, uh, the August concert for the 14th season of First Fridays at the Frick.
absolutely sensational singer. We're so glad to be able to have him here for you tonight and to bring him on now, Mr. Dane Van Adder. Someday, when I'm off in love, when the world is cold, I will feel a Um, I'm out here with my sister. <laughs> and lots of snacks and wine. Snacks and wine. You're to listen to the music. Enjoy the weather. And yeah. is this your first time? It is not my first time. First time this year, but I've been here a few other times. Got CD sales going on at the CD table. So two. I'm not willing to live Blinded by another lover Who leads me on Cause they know You've had so many great artists here that it's hard to pick a favorite of them. And of course, uh, I like Dave and Maureen Budway and... Uh, a lot of the other artists you've had here. The Amherst Saxophone Quartet was excellent. Uh, the Pittsburgh Symphony Brass, you had those guys. Uh, there's just so many great artists you've had here. It's, it's been great doing this okay, year. So this is the end of the First Friday concert. It's about 9.25. So what did you think of your experience here? Oh, what a great night. What a happy night. Warm people, beautiful weather. Great venue, terrific music. I couldn't be happy. Um, just, just the people, you know, just the energy I got back from the audience, and so many of them, and so that was feeding me. I've got more. I've got so much energy here at the end of the whole night that uh, I, I could just keep on going. I think because we start planning so far in advance, and we have so much back and forth communication with the artists, but usually it's via email. When they actually get here, meeting them firsthand, it feels like you're seeing an old friend, even though it's the first time that we've seen them. And at the end of the night, you hug them, you say goodbye, and you don't want to see them leave because you just feel such a connection. So for me, it's all the, the pre-planning and actually seeing it come to fruition. At the, at the it was terrific. And the energy and the comments that you hear throughout the site from all the guests that are having such a wonderful time. I mean, there's just, there's just nothing that makes you feel, feel any better.